How's it going everyone? Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to wake up early and not be miserable. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support, it helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, billenberg999. So how do you wake up early and you not be miserable? I get up at 520. So I think majority of people watching this video, they would say 520 is pretty early. Um, Sometimes on the weekends, I either get up at 5.20, which because 5.20 is the day that I get up to go to work. So the best way to get up early and not be miserable is to keep your schedule the same throughout the week. So if you want to get up early, then keep your schedule as close as possible to that early time that you're trying to get up. Here's the thing. If you normally go to bed at, say, 2 o'clock in the morning and you just want to wake up early one or two days and not be miserable, it's going to be damn near impossible. Because if you normally go to bed at two o'clock in the morning, then what's going to happen is you're going to need probably seven, eight hours. You're not going to get up till about 10 o'clock. But if you want to try to get up at five o'clock, you're only going to get three hours. Now, what a lot of people do too, is a lot of people, if they normally go to bed at two o'clock in the morning, they'll try to go to bed at nine o'clock on one day to get up early the next day. This does not work because your body is not used to that schedule. And that's why you'll sit in bed for like three, four hours just sitting there. So you need to get your schedule as close as possible. Again, for me, I get up, I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I work four days, I get Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the days that I work, get up at 5.20. The days that I don't work, I get up anywhere from 5 to 6.30. So usually, usually it's between, usually it's about five o'clock I'll get up on the week, on the days I don't work. Sometimes 5.30, the odd time if I sleep in, it'll be about 6.30. So my time is very, very close together. I'm within about half an hour to an hour of the time throughout the whole week. And that is how I'm able to get up super early. And I, I'm not miserable at all. That's literally like when it gets to about five o'clock, 5.30, that's my time. I just get up. Now, if you're thinking, well, I can't do that. I'm going to be miserable. Your body gets used to it. Trust me. Whatever you put your body through, it will you will become used to it. And then your time that you go to bed, you'll notice that, hey, I can actually fall asleep now earlier because you're used to getting up earlier as well. So um, super, super good. That's how I wake up. And I like waking up early because then you get some things done. So when everyone else is sleeping, they're doing stuff, then you can get up. You can put like an hour or two into your side business if you want to. If you have one, I have one. I have a couple, obviously the YouTube, some other stuff. And that's what I can do. I can do that for a couple hours. And yeah, so I really like doing that. And I, again, I, I get up early during work. And what I used to do is for work, I used to get up at 520. Uh, or I, I still get up at 5.20, but then on the weekends, what I used to do is I used to sleep in 10, 11 o'clock. And then when it comes time back to go to work and you got to go back to five o'clock, it just get, it gets super, super hard on your body. So I just keep it the same now, 5.20 to anywhere from five to six. And yeah, um, that's how you wake up early. End of video. Thank you so much for watching.